As the Lord looks on you down from the heavens, have you ever thought what or who he sees at the center of your heart? Who are you placing first in your life with your actions? Isaiah chapter 26 verse 9 says, My soul yearns for you in the night, in the morning my spirit longs for you. Does your soul yearn for God in the night? Does your spirit long for the Lord in the morning? The Bible says many are called but few are chosen but what is it that separates the many from the few because it's only when your heart is truly given to God that you can obey the greatest commandment given to us in Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. So, let me encourage you. Allow me to uplift you, child of God. May we be part of the chosen few who decide that no one else will have the throne to their heart other than the risen King who is Jesus Christ. May we not grow weary of well-doing and above all may you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and mind. So as you end your day take a moment and repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, thank you for protecting me today. Thank you for seeing me through this day. It's only through your grace and mercy that I am healthy. It's only through your loving kindness that I have life in my body. I want to take this time to say thank you Lord Jesus for all the things happening in my life right now. Thank you for keeping me and watching over me. As I end my day and prepare to go to sleep King Jesus, I invite you into my home. Almighty God, we stand before your throne of grace this night, interceding for all who may be suffering affliction or hardship, for those who are experiencing sickness or pain. Lord we intercede this day for those who have given up hope, whose grief has no light at the end of the tunnel, and who believe they have been ignored, forgotten or betrayed. O oh God! we plead the blood of Jesus for a hedge of protection around them. Deliver them, O oh God, out of their place of pain and suffering and lead them, by your Spirit, into the place of your amazing grace, where they may stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Manifest yourself tonight, in our trials and in our tribulations, and show yourself strong in our behalf. Lord let the glorious light of your gospel reach into the darkest corners of our world and our lives, and open the eyes of our hearts, that we might embody your compassion, and see and experience your healing power and your self-giving love. Father in heaven, search our hearts. Show us any area in our lives where we may be lagging. We choose today to stand in faith and invite you to move mightily on our behalf. Let tonight be a night of deliverance, liberation and a purging for us. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 24 tells me that when I lie down I will not be afraid, when I lie down my sleep will be sweet. I thank you for your word because I know that you are a gracious God, a God who watches over me at night as well as during the day so I ask this evening may your eyes look upon me and my family may your hand be over us and cover us. I declare your word in Psalm chapter 4 verse 8 to be true to me. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. I dwell in safety, I sleep in safety because I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, no weapon formed against me or my family will prosper, I will sleep in divine peace because of you Lord. When I sleep I will not be terrified by any uneasy imaginations. I will not be kept awake by anxious cares and distressing dreams. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 you have given me a special invitation, you have told me to come to you when I labor and when I'm heavy laden and you will give me rest. In you alone I will find rest for my soul. In you alone my yoke is made easy and my burden is made light. My Father in heaven, you are he who neither sleeps nor slumbers, 
You are the great God and I confess you to be everything that I want and need tonight. I am protected by you Lord Jesus, and I can find healing in you and when it comes to provision, I look to you Jehovah my provider even for comfort for my troubled heart. I am made whole in you. Almighty God and loving Father, help us, this evening, to guard against our inclinations. Grant us, dear Lord, that we may be able to appreciate that though we may be restless from ambition, we also may be restless through discontent. Correct our lives, that our desires meet the true demands of our souls. Protect us in our endeavors as we try to live our ideals, and strengthen us with the power of calmness. Bless us, O God, by your grace, and endow us with divine wisdom, that we would not choose unnecessary burdens, and find that when we most need to be strong, that we have lived in that which has weakened our lives. Lord God, may we realize more, each day, our dependence on you for the joys of life, that even as we receive your free gifts, we will not neglect to take the peace and happiness which you do give with them. Let it be so, O God, that we would live in the bright hope and courage that is the experience of power and truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and declare it all. Amen.